is a very controversial plan to teach sex education to kids as early as kindergarten now. The plan being proposed in Helena, Montana, includes teaching first graders that people can be attracted to the same gender. And by age 10, students are taught about different types of intercourse. Is this too young to be teaching these issues? Peter Sprigg from the Family Research Council does not like the idea at all. And sexuality educator and author of Third Base Ain't What It Used To Be, Logan Levkoff, thinks it's important as, and is in favor of it. Good morning to both of you. Thank you. Good morning. All right, Peter, so let me, let me start with you. In Helena, they're going to decide, they're going to have a debate between parents and educators about whether or not kindergartners should be taught about sexuality. Your thoughts? Well, teaching kindergartners uh, the names of the male and female sex organs, teaching first graders that they might be homosexual, teaching fifth graders about oral and anal penetration, even teaching high schoolers about uh, erotic images in art, uh, these things are not age appropriate. And they may have the effect of triggering the uh, very behaviors that they seek to prevent. Logan, I know that you disagree. <laughs> oh, what? Vehemently. As a parent, I, I would love to know from you why it would be a good thing for my young son, who will be a kindergartner this year, a as to learn about mine. sex. My son is a kindergartner as well. First, I think sexuality education is about more than the acts of sex. Sexuality is talking about our bodies, our sense of gender, how we express ourselves, different kinds of families. This program is not teaching first graders if they are gay. They are saying that there are a lot of different kinds of families out there. Some have a mom and a dad, some have two moms, two dads, a single parent, all different kinds of family makeups, knowing that they are a part of a bigger community. And quite frankly, I've taught hundreds of fifth grade classes, and whether we like it or not, based on the media, kids have a very sophisticated sexual knowledge, giving them very clear answers to their questions. What is oral sex, which comes up all the time? Contact between someone's mouth and someone's genitals, and it's something that some grown-ups engage in. For Simple kindergartners, answers. though? No, we're talking about fifth graders well, with even, respect to sex Okay, behavior. but even, even for fifth graders, uh, uh, Peter, what about the confusion of the child's mind being told this kind of information? I know my kids are still trying to grapple with what divorce means. Right. I, I don't think that uh, young children have the framework to understand this. In first grade, under this curriculum, they'll be taught that uh, some people love people of the opposite sex, some people love people of the same sex. Well, every first grader likes people of the same sex more than they like the kids what? of the opposite sex. So you're planting in their minds the oh, idea Peter, that they might be gay Th when we know that most of them won't be. Peter, uh, that same is in absolutely in fourth grade, you're untrue. talking about... You're talking about teasing and taunting as possibly being illegal sexual harassment in fourth grade. I'm sorry, teasing and taunting are part of the facts of life in fourth grade, teasing but they have nothing to do with sex. We're, we're talking, about, talking about healthy sexuality. First of all, you are not suggesting to, te to, to children that they might be gay. But the lessons You're are all about unhealthy sexuality. Unhealthy sexuality. You're giving them the, the, the groundwork to make smart decisions in the future, to navigate the world that they're seeing in a healthy way. And by the way, if you've done your job as a parent, then this is something supplementing the information that you've been giving them every day right. at home. Which I think well, brings this whole debate. Part of my job as a parent has been to shelter my son from this kind well, of mine information. Has, and mine has been to answer questions honestly and give him the tools to make sense of the world around him and know that I will always be there to answer his questions, whatever they but are. But I think you both brought it right home well, to the main argument, the which is whether or not this should be the parental responsibility or the federal government in the school. But I got to wrap it up there. I got to wrap it up there, unfortunately. But, it, but they will make the decision in Helena later on in August. Peter Sprigg, Logan Levkoff. Thank you so much.